Hi. So, I'm sorry if the thing doesn't work. I don't know. Okay, so, I'm here to talk about A. And I have three different notes. Like, three papers all about it. So, on my first paper, let me see. Show you. Okay, so, it said Marlena King, the executive producer, said that um, A was in the first episode. So, I watched the first episode, and I found out who wasn't in it. So, that eliminated some people. So, it, it elim... First, let me tell you my guesses. Um, Mona, Allison, Emily, Spencer, Aria, Hannah, Toby, Melissa, Ezra, Ren, Jenna, Garrett, Ian, Jason, Noel, Courtney, Maya, Paige, Mike, and oh, Detective Wilden. Okay, so <laughs> the ones that weren't in the first episode were Toby, Garrett, Jason, Noel, and Paige. Okay, and then Marlena King also said that A isn't the, like, A in the books isn't the A in the TV show, so Mona's off, and then she said A is in the four girls, so it's none of them, like, not Emily Spencer, or right, whatever. So that left me with Melissa, I don't know, and before I go ahead, Jenna, it probably can't be her. Because she's blind, and how would she be able to drive to run over Hannah and like be in a warehouse or something? I mean, no, the greenhouse. And then Ian is dead, maybe. I don't know. So it left me with Melissa, Ezra, Mike, Detective Wilden, Allie, slash Courtney. Because like, some people said that Courtney was pretending to be Allie in the first episode. I have no clue. So that's why I did a slash. And then Maya and Red. So, let's look at my second piece. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so, I'm just going to start off with Ezra. Okay. So, it said that Ian Harding, the guy who plays Ezra, started laughing when he found out who A was. So, he might be laughing at himself or someone that, I don't know. Okay, so, hmm. So, first thing, why did Ezra go to our, uh, why did Ezra go to Allison's funeral? Like, he didn't even know her. Like, maybe they had a fling, or maybe they were dating. Um... And why would Ezra want to go to jail? Like, why is he trying to bust himself? Just like, I don't really get it. Even though he's just like this weird, insane guy. Um, hmm. And then, like, I was thinking, like, didn't A steal Ezra's key? Like, I know I saw it on an episode. Like, he stole his key from under the mat or something. I remember that. And, like, some people say that Ezra... Ezra because of the typewriter he has. But, like, they might have took his key and then, like, got it replaced or something and got a new one, and then they could, like, keep on sneaking in when he's out and typing it. Like, you never know all this stuff. So, and then, okay. And then, um, Ren. Okay, where was I? I got a lot. Okay. So, Ren works at the hospital so it's easy for him to put like like Emily's cream drugs and and like the stuff in Emily's food or whatever and then it's easy for him to sign Hannah's cast because he works in the hospital <sighs> but like why would he be a like seriously um hmm okay so next is Byron, even though I don't have him written down. Someone said Byron. I forget who. Okay. So, first thing. Like, he didn't want Ella to know about him cheating. So, why would he write the note signed A? Like, seriously, why would I write that? Why would he write that 
if he didn't want her to know. Like, seriously. I'm sorry if he just blacked out. Sorry. Okay, so, um, and then, like, what's his purpose? Like, he would already, like, like, he would already have caught Ezra and Arya together. And, like, all that stuff, so why? Okay, so, next is Allie slash Courtney. Okay, so, um, first thing is in the Halloween episode, there's, like, a lot of stuff. So, in Allie's room, there's, like, a picture of her and then Jason and, like, another one that looks like her. So, that might be it, but she probably just, like, loves herself or something. I don't know. But I really do think that she has a twin. Because, like, someone said that they saw under the picture that there was this, um, like, sign or whatever that was, like, in French, and it said, like, something, something, something <laughs> about, like, twins or whatever, and then, like, it's, like, to love a twin or something at the bottom. So, okay. And then it also says that Sasha Peters, who plays Allie, of course, is confirmed to be in the season three premiere. So, that goes me to page three, where it says, like, in the episode when A is revealed, something else big happens. So maybe, like, if A is not Allie or Courtney, maybe, like, Allie, like, is not dead. And, like, she, like, and, and she's like, hey, guys, I'm alive or something. Like, no, she wouldn't do that. She would just, like, show up, and then I'd be like, oh, my gosh, how'd you get here? Like, all that stuff. Okay, I think, oh, yeah, and then the episode, season three premiere, it said it's called It Happened That Night with Crustaceans on it. So, okay, that takes us to page three. All right, here was page two. See, I have a lot of stuff on here. Okay, and then page three looks like this. Like, okay, so Lucy Hill said this is her. Okay, honestly, in the season finale, it comes out of nowhere, comes completely out to left of left field. But like I said, throughout the two seasons, everything sort of comes together, so it kind of makes sense. But an actual episode is completely shoved in your face out of nowhere. And then Ashley Betts said, it's not what it is in the books. I just felt like saying that. So people will know that it's not Mona. I don't know. Hmm. Okay, and Keegan Allen, who plays Toby, said, You have to watch every episode to understand it. From the pilot through now, and then it will make sense. Everything is linked. The writers did a really, really good job of connecting everything and making it realistic. I've always had my ideas of who I is, but everybody was shocked. Okay, so, like, I am, I'm just stuck. I'm trying to figure out who it is. It could be just like, I don't know, it could be anybody. I don't know. Okay, so, and I also, like, um, so I went on and I saw a promo for the next new episode, which is called If These Dolls Could Talk. It's the Canadian promo, and it shows Allie. She wakes up Spencer, and she says, don't scream, please, and then goes to another thing, and then goes back, and then she said, don't get hung upon the details and miss what's parked right in front of you. So maybe she's still alive? Or maybe it was just a dream that Spencer did or something? I have to go back to page two for a second because I gotta point out something. A and Allison's killer are two different people. You guys have to get that because, like, everyone's like, Oh my god, why would, like, this, like, someone, I'm not going to say who, but, like, someone said, like, why would this part, it makes sense that they're A, but why would they kill Allison? So, I'm just mad because A and Allison's killer are two.
two different people. You have to understand that. Oh my god, my computer is stupid. Okay, so... I think A... I really want to think it's Maya, but there's like not really any evidence. And then Melissa, it would be too obvious. So my guesses are either, are either Ezra, Ali slash Courtney, or Ren. I was thinking Mike too, or his brother, but like, I don't know. Like he's sneaky and all that. And it would be easy to get pit. No, wait, no, no, I'm not feeling Sorry. Uh, I really want to be Maya for some reason. And then I also saw it in the Canadian promo where Maya sent Emily a text saying like, Oh, sorry if I'm spoiling for you guys. Um, <laughs> Maya sent Emily a text saying like, I can't believe you told my parents. And like, like I can't trust you or something, I forget. Okay, so I'm sorry if I gave out spoilers. I'm really sorry. And I think all the people that I think are right have pretty eyes, which is Ezra, Alicia, Courtney, and Ren. So, the question is, who do you think I is?